G'day everyone, it's Heath and Simon from you and me Personalised Property Services today here on a beautiful winter's day at McCullum Park uh, with a backdrop of the city. Uh, so welcome Simon. Hey mate, good to see you. Yeah, always. Terrible winter's day isn't it? It's, it's average. Isn't Why it? would you live in Perth? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, we thought we might obviously get out uh, and uh, talk about a couple of wins that we've had recently with clients. So. I know that we, we had a, a win with, uh, with Hazel and Terry yep. in Butler, yep. um, which is in the northern suburbs of Perth, but mm -hmm. it was Simon's deal, and I'll let Simon go on and let us know what, what, how that went down. Yeah, cheers, Heath. So, guys, look, um, uh, really recent acquisition for one of our clients, uh, overseas clients in Malaysia, um, are from Australia, looking to relocate in Australia in the next couple of years. Um, they had a budget of up to... 550,000. Um, they were really looking for something that was close to the train line, would give them easy access to the city, um, but based on their budget um, and their requirements for the house, which was they needed a minimum 150 square metres internal. They needed a four by two and they wanted 600 square metres of land, um, ideally, um, and something that would rent out for around four and a half to five percent um, yep. in terms of a rent return. Um, so they knew they couldn't be right in on the city to get that, but they wanted to be close to the train lines, close to amenities, and still have a really good um, infrastructure around them. So they had shops, parks, good schools, all that stuff, that when they come back from Malaysia um, with their newborn and their little family that they've established, they're gonna have a lovely little pocket to, um, to live in. So we, we started the brief, we'd looked at a number of suburbs, and we ended up um, really liking the suburb of Butler. It's about 30, 35 minutes from Perth. It's a coastal suburb, so really embracing all of the, the wonderful lifestyle that Perth has to offer with our fantastic coastline. Um, and we'd looked at a couple of properties, but this particular win was an example of us reaching out to our networks. Um, I called a, a really good agent that operates in that Butler region. And I simply put the question to him, did you have any off-market opportunities that were gonna come up that could be really beneficial for your seller by selling it off-market opposed to going on-market? Um, and it was really interesting because the client, the, the, the real estate agent goes, you couldn't have called it a better time, mate. I've literally got an overseas um, investor. Um, he wants to sell before the end of the financial year, um, but the place needs a new paint, new carpets, um, obviously new photos and all the marketing. And to get all that done, it's probably going to take us about four to five to six weeks because there's such a delay with all the trades right now. So um, we believe the value of the property is at six hundred thousand um, dollars. That's what the agent said to me. He goes, you know, you go do your own research. Um, but we think the property is definitely going to rent out for between five fifty to six hundred, and and we see value in it at six hundred. I went and personally inspected the property. It did need new paint. It did new, need new carpets. Um, and it was 230 odd square meters under the main roof, massive Big four house. by two, huge master bedroom. As three you car open garage, up, I believe. A three car garage, as yeah. you open up the door, you met with 41 core ceiling. So it was so grand. It was in the best area of Butler. It was built to a really high spec, but because it needed those little touch ups, it wasn't presenting as good as it could be. Um, but immediately I was able to ascertain that this thing would sell for $600,000 on the open market every single day of the week. So um, I, I said to the real estate agent, look, um, I want the paint done. I want the carpets done. Um, we'll make an offer of 550,000 and we'll get it done before the end of financial year. Now, the agent was like, mate, look, you know, we get the paint done on the carpet, we might as well go to the market. And I said, well, if you get the paint done on the carpet to go to the open market, you've already told me it's six weeks. Six weeks past financial year, it's going to have a number of tax implications for your client. If your client thinks it's worth doing that and then getting all the marketing and then paying you the money for the marketing to do that and get it on the market and maybe have it sold in two weeks, so we're talking about an eight-week timeline, if it's worth it for him, then by all means do it. I know you'll get 600000 but our offer today is 550,000 with the new paint internally and new carpets. Um, offer's valid for 24 hours, let me know what you wanna do. Within 12 hours, we had a call from the agent. The agent goes, look, the owner thinks it's a really good deal. He's really happy. If my owner's happy, I'm happy. Your buyers are obviously happy, which is gonna make Heath and you happy. Yep. Let's get it done. So we got the deal done. Fast forward, um, get to settlement. Um, it's all settled within the financial year. Everyone's really happy. 
um, and we have had three rental applications, 620, 625, 625. Uh, which so, is yeah. a, a rent return of around 6%, 6 but or just well, well over where we'd even appraised it at 550 to 600. Yep. Uh, again, look, you know, it's not about getting 6% every time. It's not about being able to get an off market opportunity. It's not about being able to get it under market value every time. But what it is about is just showing you guys the value that Heath and I bring when you engage our services. Um, in life, I always say, I look at money as a cost or an investment. And when it's a cost, I expect to feel really good about that cost, whether it be a, a new jacket, a new car, a holiday with the family. I want that cost to have um, value in terms of that you can't put a price on it other than what the MasterCard shows up or the Visa at the end of it. <laughs> yeah. And then the other one's the investment. And when I invest, I want to see a return of value for my money. Um, and I really believe that what we do at You and Me Personalised Property Services is a great investment, um, not only for the investors, but also for homeowners alike. Yep. So, um, we're, so that's we're, it, yeah. we're certainly picking those up recently. Um, you know, people are getting a little bit scared of the interest rates sometimes in Perth. Yep. Um, certainly not in the East Coast. No, no. So, I mean, at 1.6 and add 25 basis points, yep. 1.6 million and 25 basis points, it's a no-brainer to come over to a, uh, a lesser averaging uh, state. Yeah, so, I mean, the only thing you have to deal with is the bad winter. Yeah. Um, if you can put up with a bad winter, then you know Perth's probably a really good city for you to live in. Lovely. Thanks, right. Simon. Awesome, Appreciate guys. your time. Until next time, guys, if you want any advice at all, come and see us. Have a chat. Happy investing. And we'll speak to you soon. See you later. Yeah.